How's it going everyone, it's me Vivi, and welcome back to some Crash Nitro fueled content. I know it's been a while since I've covered news, analyzed, or stuff like that when it comes to Crash Bandicoot. I know, I know, it's been a while. So I thought of compiling everything I've missed, and honestly that's what I prefer doing in the end. Unless, of course, we're talking about like a huge reveal sort of stuff, that's a different scenario. But anyways, with that being said, I'm back, and let's get started. Crash Cove. We got some tiny footage here and there on Twitter by the official account. Well, let's call it character reveals. Crash Bandicoot. Gameplay from February 8th, 2019. Crash Cove footage, to be precise. But the main focus is on Crash. They did this for multiple characters. We'll get into it slowly. Now let's skip the whole, whoa, it looks nice and all that. You've heard that before from me, <laughs> of course. Beanox is doing a fantastic job with the visual aspects of Crash Nitro Field. One thing I've noticed and I like, for any daytime racetracks we've seen so far, they seem to be getting the lighting right. So far, for the majority, Crash Cove originally gave us this late afternoon feel. The lighting seems to fit the mood of the track. Dingle Canyon, also from February 4th, late afternoon feel in the original. Looking at this, the feeling is still there. Not only the lighting, but the skyboxes, they're doing an awesome job. One level, okay, which we haven't gotten gameplay for, it would be Papu Pyramids. Now this one looks to be early concept for sure, this is the one we got from the reveal trailer. The skybox one is entirely different, and two, the level just looks much brighter. The lighting in other words. Now let's go back to Crash's footage. First thing I'd like to compare is the remastered track. I have to say it sounds very good. Sometimes remastered tracks, especially from Spyro, Reignited or Insane Trilogy, they tended to sound softer. But this one, the work they've done with Crash Nitro, the direction they're going with, it sounds superb. <laughs> I'm loving the animated facial expressions, by the way, added to these characters. Especially that gibberish we get at the end, by Crash. Either for victory or failure, it's funny. I also love the added lines Crash Team Racing on the tires. Obviously the PS1 looking at the polygon count it, they couldn't do that. Next footage from February 15th, 2019, Coco Park. Coco character gameplay. The biggest surprise for me so far, hands down, would be Coco Park. Just look at the old one and this. It's like someone vomit rainbows. I don't want it to come off as me hating this racetrack, not at all. I absolutely adore what they've done with it. It looks like something out of Sugar Rush. Very bright, very pink colorful rainbows everywhere. The old one comparing it to this, it was very very generic, like it's crazy. The addition of her statue standing up, statue of her with her laptop, it's very cool. The music again, can I just say, out of all Spyro and Insane Trilogy tracks remasters we've heard, I believe Nitro Fueled takes the cake. Have a listen. <laughs> Bandicoot Power, this quote is so nostalgic. I can already hear her say, pass it on, and it does sound like the OG voice actor. As for the finish lines when it comes to the tracks in Nitro Fueled, they all have their own unique set of theme. Let's not forget the great animations given to Coco. Footage from March 1st, 2019. This time we take a look at Polar Pass, Polar gameplay. First things first, the music, let's compare it. Again, I'm loving how the track sounds like there's still that Christmas jingle in there. One thing I'm still not too fond of is the engine noise of the carts. It's too soft. Polar just looks adorable. What am I gonna say about this character? I've been looking at one thing in particular in Polar Pass. From all previous footage we've gotten, we got to see normal boost flames. What I mean is, when you go over a turbo pad, the flame is orange, right? 
But in this particular instant, the flames, you notice some blue and purple. At first I was like, okay, what is going on? Where did this come from? And then I thought, wait a minute, the speedometer always had a height gauge, remember? Color varies between blue, green, yellow, and red. Depending on the height you reach, the higher your cart goes, the bigger the boost you get afterwards. So Beanox decided to give this boost of speed some extra colors. Going off this ramp, from this footage from uh, February 4th, it goes to yellow and gives you this huge boost of speed. But the weird thing is, even before making it to the bottom, just going over this ramp already gives you that boost of speed, while well, technically just the color of the flame. You see, that's what I find odd about this part as well. This is not a super turbo pad, we can't say that these colors for the flame also belong to STPs, short for Super Turbo Pads. Polar Pass originally did not have STPs by default. If you remember, STPs give you higher speed than normal Turbo Pads, but it's not the case here. As for the height, it's understandable, but just for the ramp itself, the Turbo, the color is attached to it. Hmm. Going by you know CTR, we're only supposed to get orange flames here, because this is a normal Turbo Pad. I mean, it should be. Some of you might maybe say, Oh, Super Turbo Pad's cheat code is active. I don't think so, it doesn't seem to be the case looking at this gameplay. But anyways, I just wanted to bring this up because it was interesting. Next, March 1st, Engine Labs, screenshot. Sweet. The colors are perfectly well blended together. I love the addition of mech suits, or robots call it. And this is after the speed tunnel, if I'm not mistaken. I can easily recognize this one. This section, the curb, yeah, we have the tunnel before it. This screenshot was shared after a poll was made on Twitter by the official account in Gen 1, and I had a feeling they would show us something. I thought they would show gameplay, but they showed a screenshot. It's, uh, it's better than nothing, right? March 6th, we got a teaser of Ripperoo. Ripperoo versus Crash Bandicoot. I love the marketing strategy they're using. They're giving us small hints at what's to be shown later. I think they've done this with Insane Trilogy from time to time. Like, what they're doing right now, I think it's uh, better to compare it with Spyro Reignited Trilogy. Gameplay here and there, screenshots and all that. Now, the small differences between this model and the one from Ansane. The nose has been more refined, and his eyes, we got some brown instead of red. With that, let's move on to the actual footage we got after this teaser. Roost Tubes, Ripper Roo gameplay March 8th, the door vault. It looks so much more detailed, uh, what else am I gonna say? The question is, does it open vertically now, or is it an actual door with hinges? Like a normal door, like a vault door. <laughs> if you look on the top left, you see a small glimpse of the sky box through a small crack. Yes, welcome to my channel where I like to analyze the smallest things ever. <laughs> but hey, I could look at this one we get later on, well, seconds later actually, and be like, look, the skybox! But the thing with this one, yes, this could be the skybox for the hub world, I like it, but what gets me skeptical is his model here. This seems to be a model ripped from Ensign Trilogy. The nose is a telltale sign. This could be an early concept which was scrapped by Vicarious Visions. Maybe an extended intro scene for for Ripper Roo, they thought it'd be too long so they scrapped it, or they thought it wouldn't be too faithful to the original. Whatever the case is, this footage with Ripper Roo, I believe we've never seen it before. It could be a placeholder for this character trailer for Ripper Roo, or let's put it this way, they got rid of the cart introductions we get in each hub world before racing these bad guys. Instead of, you know, them being on floor, on the ground, on their cart, they're on the roof, and it just so happens that Ripper Roo has his early early model in this scene, the nose. The skybox here seems to resemble both NSTs and CTR. That's what gets me wondering. As for his voice, it does sound a bit different from the one we had in Insane Trilogy, but it's never going to replicate the one from the original, of course. By the way, that voice of his in the original was just stock audio used in Disney movies. Also fun fact, Ripper Roo originally had an actual voice for CTR. He could speak. There's a channel called Fartmaster. <laughs> nice. You can hear his cut dialogue. He sounded like Elmo on something, alright? <laughs> yeah, I don't think that's coming back. Also for the key, Ripper Roo remains on the racetrack this time. 
He's not outside, he's in it, and holds it with his tongue. That's ripper for ya. Next, March 12th, Engine Labs, another screenshot. This could yet be another teaser at an upcoming Engine gameplay. The speed tunnel though, whoa, whoa. yo, that looks beautiful I have to say. Beanox even shared another piece of art on March 13th. Another thing I I'd like to add for this video, Crash Nitro Fueled has been featured in PlayStation Magazine UK, issue number 160, which is planned to get released I think later this month, maybe in a couple of days or so, maybe it's out? No, I don't think it's out, but it could be. But this issue <laughs> is for April 2019. If you want to know a bit of info from this magazine, go and check out Crash Mania, where they go over the history of updates and everything regarding Crash Nitro Fueled. From what I've been reading so far, the interviews, the questions, in this monthly issue go over like the development of Crash Nitro Fueled, all the love they've poured into the level designs and everything. They don't go over over anything major or new, I believe. Next, Cortex Teaser, character by PlayStation on Twitter, March 14th, 2019. I wanted to mention this one due to one reason only. It seems they have listened and brought back the checkered flag background. Although not black and white, ain't static, it's a nice step by Beanox. They're listening, that's cool. It looks much better with a flag in the background. Dingo Dial, a character from March 16th, 2019. He has a tail now. Originally he didn't on PS1 when sitting on his cart. But looking at it now, I was wondering honestly where is his tail? Are they gonna bring it this time? Looking at it now, it looks uh, uncomfortable, doesn't it? And this is a new update simply by taking into account the flag background. Because all the footage we've received in early February, there was no flag in the background. Last thing for the video, Beanox on Instagram, I don't know if you follow them, we got a sneak peek at the title screen. This picture was posted on March 8th, was it? Looking at it, instead of quickly advancing to game modes, which we had in the original, there's an extra scene, well, screen, this time. Press X to begin. But there is text missing, Crash Team Racing, so this could still be like a, some sort of demo type of thing. And it could be animated. It does look animated, looking at Crash's uh, render. Talking about Instagram, there is this account called Coco Bandicoot Official. They shared a post uh, wanting Beanox to feature Tana as a playable character. The account sent this to Beanox, and they replied, with a heart, wink, and yeah. Honestly guys, I don't want to overthink this, so take this with a grain of salt, I don't think this means they're hinting at Tana being in Crash Nitro Field. But it's uh, not out of the realm of possibilities, because if you go on the official website, they do say the game's gonna feature new tracks and new carts beyond the original. So guys, extra new characters, whoever they're gonna be, Spyro, I believe Spyro's gonna be in it. I'd be surprised if Spyro's not in it. But yeah, with that being said guys, this is it for the video. If you have questions, if I didn't miss anything interesting in terms of analyzing and all that, please mention it in the comments section below. And as always, I've been Vivi and thank you so much for watching.